All right, this is a heat transfer problem and we are dealing with a pan that is placed on a stove on fire and we are boiling water inside it. We know some dimensions that let's say the diameter of the pan is 200 millimeters. We also know that the thickness of the bottom of the pan, so the just the bottom layer is 7.5 millimeters. We also know that the water is boiling and the temperature on the surface of the bottom of the pan, but here on the inside, the part that's in contact with the water, it's at 110 degrees Celsius. Now they want us to find the temperature of the bottom of the pan on the outside, the part that is in contact with the stove or the fire. Now we also know that uh, the heat transferred from the stove to the pan is Q equals 1200 watts. Now they want us to find the bottom temperature for two different pots, one made of aluminum and one made of copper. And we have the thermal conductivity coefficient given for both of these. Now to get started. Uh, let's think of this temperature. We don't really have any formula that specifically given for this one. So we're going to have to solve for this from other formulas. Now, since we know Q, our heat, then we can write up our heat uh, transfer formula right here. Q equals Q double prime, which is the flux times the area. Now, this area is the area that's perpendicular to the direction of heat transfer. This is our direction of heat transfer. So the area perpendicular to it. So basically the bottom surface of the pan. Now from here, we know the area and we know Q, right? So the only thing we don't know is flux. So let's see what kind of flux are we dealing with here? We uh, gonna have this heat coming from the stove. Right, and we, it's gonna arrive at this surface of the pot or the pan, and it's gonna go through it all the way till it gets to the other side, and then it heats the water. Now we're gonna be going through this solid material, so we're gonna be dealing with conduction. We're gonna uh, ignore any kind of radiation or convection in this problem. Those are for more future, more complicated problems. But here we are dealing with only conduction okay through the bottom of the pan so I'm gonna write up right here our formula for the flux of conduction there's the formula negative K equals I mean times T2 minus T1 over L L is gonna be the thickness of our pan right here 7.5 millimeters now T1 and T2, it's, uh, we're going to designate it right here. One is going to be the inside, one is going to be the bottom. Now T1 is where we start to go through the pan. T2 we're gonna where we're going to arrive to the other side. So T2 will be our inside and T1 will be our bottom. You can pick them the other way also. You're just going to get a negative value. Now I went ahead, I took my flux, I plugged it into the heat right here. So heat equals our flux plugged in times the area. Here's T1 and T2 as I designated it. So I'm going to need T1, which is my bottom temperature. And let's go ahead and solve for it. Now analyzing it, we can see that we know every single value except the area. So let's go ahead and find that the area of the bottom of the pen right here, pi over four d squared, plug everything in. There it is 0 0.0314 meters squared. Now from here, we're going to be needing, need to use this formula to find our T1, but we need it for two different properties. I mean, yes, two different properties because we're dealing with two different pans. So I'm just going to split up my paper right here into aluminum, copper. 
simply I take this formula, bring it down here and plug in everything that we have found. Make sure that you convert your millimeters into meters. There it is. And we can find our T1 is 111.2 degrees Celsius. Now let's do the same for our copper. Again, plug everything in using the exact same formula. Make sure you use the correct properties. After we plugged in, calculate, there it is. Our temperature is 110.7 degrees Celsius. And as we can tell, different materials have different K values, different properties, and therefore we're gonna have different temperatures.